Oh, hi there. Welcome to CoVlog 19, number two. P.S. Do you like my t-shirt? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Me and Ainsley had a wonderful night last night. Anyway, so as you may be able to tell what this setup is, what I'm going to do. I have not baked any banana bread, although I bake banana bread quite frequently. I haven't made any sourdough, but I think I might give go that Dalgona coffee recipe. So I think everything is just equal parts, instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. I would be curious to know if you could use espresso because that's like hot water and coffee combined, but I'm gonna do it the way that they tell me, see how that goes. Is that, have, have I done it? Is, is, is this how you do it? I made it with brown sugar, so I feel like it's not gonna be as light. Is that too liquidy? Well, let's find out. That by itself is literally disgusting. I don't have that much milk, so I don't want to like waste it on this garbage. Waste of time. to you i haven't vlogged anything for the past two weeks for a couple of reasons uh first of all i just i feel like we're all dealing with this differently some people are super duper active and really trying to keep themselves busy i feel like i have had like the energy drained out of me despite doing very little other than playing animal crossing so there's that. And also, I'm moving house. But yeah, I just, the short answer is I've been sad. So, <laughs> but I don't think I'm, I'm alone in this. But anyway, I've decided to pick the camera up today. It's bank holiday Monday. I've just filmed an empties video. So I'm using my big camera to talk to you. Anyway, I figured I would use this time to plan my life. So I have a bullet journal and I haven't opened this all of April and we're almost halfway through. So I thought I'd like write that up, but also, start utilizing these so this these are two things that you can literally see the last one i filled in was in november lol get rid of that one um i just feel like giving myself a little bit more of structure loose structure that sounds like an oxymoron uh just because i don't want to make myself feel bad for not doing everything that i might want to do but also giving myself clear stuff that i want to do might give me a little bit more direction so i've got this weekly planner and this daily planner for me to fill out as well as my bullet journal so i thought i would fill those out anybody else feel like they are in a constant like 4 p.m limbo that i think is the best way to describe this quarantine anyway today is tuesday here with a cup of tea would you believe huh who am i 
all that's hot. And today is the day that I am going to dismantle a few bits and bobs. I'm going to dismantle this here, this here, and what you are on currently. So just sorting out my fringe. Literally, it's half past three in the afternoon. So it's almost four o'clock. So maybe that's why it feels like it, but it's felt like four o'clock all fucking day. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow is when we get the keys, which is exciting. And then we've got till Saturday to clear everything out. So I'm going to start by dismantling my bed, dismantling my bookshelves and sort of shelving units. So they're just ready to go tomorrow. And then hopefully I can put that stuff up. And then my vague plan is to uh, stay here Wednesday night and then Thursday do some deep cleaning, stay there for the first night on Thursday. Um, we're having help moving our sofas on Friday. That's my hair. And then, yeah, I hope to be done by Friday because on Saturday is when I'm dropping my boyfriend off. Well, I'm driving him halfway up the country so his mum can meet him the other way. He literally got his letter today and even though I knew this was coming, it all kind of feels like, right, we are all systems go. And that's it. When it rains, it pours. Couldn't have done this last week. Couldn't have taken him up last week when I had nout else on. And I'm moving this week, so when it rains, it pours, hey, you know. I was saying, speaking to my housemate, I was saying, like, this gives us something to do. Something stressful to do, but something to do. So, anyway. Oh, I've also been, like, trying out a new technique with my eye makeup. I don't know if you saw it yesterday. I don't know how good this looks in this light. Hang on, hold, please. <laughs> Wow, I look pale. <laughs> uh, that's better. But yeah, I've just been having fun with this like style of eye makeup. Yesterday I did yellow and pink. Today I've just done orange and brown, but this orange looks very intense. Anyway, I am gonna sort out my room and I shall leave you on. <laughs> Before we time that central, just wanna say shout out to my mum. Let me borrow her. Dyson animal Whoa. so very excited to be using that on my white floor which it I've used it once before I borrowed it and it's like you know in a football field where like the grass is two different colors it's exactly like that but with my hair which is gross and disgusting anyway I'm gonna plonk you down and I think I'm gonna start with this that sounds like the uh the best thing to do. Oh, P.S. This, if you're wondering where it's from, this is from Asda, and I would 110% recommend. Anyway, speak to you soon. have this come crashing down spectacularly I thought I'd give you a top tip so we've got these like mini envelopes and so I'm just gonna pop all the screws and that in here so when I go to reassemble it later down the line I know what screws belong to what bit of furniture anyway let's give this a go so out of breath I am absolutely knackered today is Wednesday aka the big move day um so today's day we've got our keys there was a little bit of a mishap we didn't get them till later than expected so that is why I'm only just filming now at the timely hour of 10 to 10 um this is my room I'm gonna give you a tour in a minute but yeah as you can imagine in the midst of all this it's only me and my housemate that are moving all of our stuff usually you know you like to enlist a couple mates and give them a takeaway and a beer and then jobs are good and um but yeah i thought i would give you a little bit of an empty house tour so let's start from the front door shall we honestly moving from top floor flat to top floor flat means that i don't have to go down these so i'm not going to 
this is the front door and then you come on up here this is my housemate's room um he's gone back to other flat at the moment so that's why that's empty then we have another set of stairs which leads to the rest of the flat so we've just come out of here which we'll go into momentarily um but oh god this is all dark i, sh I should have planned this oh that's one light that's another oh no that's all of the lights okay okie dokie let's start that again here we have the living room the living area space very nice although one thing it's always funny when sorry i'm still so out of breath <laughs> um when you view a property you see all the positives when you actually get the property that's when you realize all the negatives so when we came last time this was down like this like when we came to view it and we thought oh maybe it's just because like there's the sun or something no no this is this is broken like this we've realized that there's no way to put it back up even if we want to so and it's also like shedding so that's that's something fun for before we move properly in but these are some little fun alcoves um which have their own lights they've also oh if it wants to focus whew, they've also got like their own plugs and stuff so i think that could be a little bit fun what we're thinking is having the sofa along here and perhaps like a, a coffee table console here but then we don't want to shut the room off too much so it's all if you've got any ideas with this space that'd be great um when we came to view it there were some bookshelves there which looked really nice anyway and then we've got like a little space here which we're thinking of putting our dining table and then this is our kitchen again when you view the property you see all the positives but it's not until we'd already sealed the deal that we realized there's really not a lot of kitchen storage uh, we've got a separate freezer and a separate fridge i'm going to double check that these are actually we turned them on earlier this doesn't feel very cold interested okay how about this okay that does feel cold okay anyway this comes with it which is super fun there's some space for some wine hey um so if you can think of any like ingenious storage stuff please let me know because there's height here you know so we might put some stuff here whether there's plugs and that anyway it's all it's all to play for um, and then we've also got, if you go through into here, is this the bathroom light? Yes, it is. Fairly standard bathroom. Nothing really crazy. And then my bedroom. I've already done my bed. Um, I'm sleeping at the other flat tonight, but on a mattress on the floor. So I've got the bed ready. I'm going to put my bedside table over here. Um, I've got my my stacky shelf which I've already set up like all my skincare again I'm just my cellar watering it tonight um, I put some shoes there they're not staying there but I wanted to empty the bags so I could take them back and fill them up with more stuff um, I do also have this like closet space it's very like it's little like it's like I'm in the roof and there's the attic in there um, but like as in like an actual attic space although I'm technically very much in the attic um, but yeah this is what we're dealing with so far also one thing i noticed with my rug is that i feel like it kind of has to go under the bed a little bit which will be fine um so it's just poking out a little bit but it's all to play for we can have lots of fun oh i just feel like i'm an absolute mess my hair is disgusting um but yeah i'm gonna go home and have a shower i'm so excited i've got oh my god i've got so much stuff to sort through um my evening's task keep in mind it's now 10 a.m. was to sort through a bunch of stuff that I have not like looked in for ages and see if I obviously want to either bin it or take it with me. P.S. I do not have prescription glasses. I'm a fake slash these are blue blocker glasses and my eyes have been beginning to hurt in this quarantine and I already had these so I was like actually I'm just gonna bang one and also I feel rough so this is kind of hurting my face. Anyway, um, I shall see you tomorrow. I shan't lie to you today is monday i'm just gonna round this vlog off um because the past couple of days have been fucking crazy but we've just got the internet hey so i'm gonna edit this vlog now and then talk to you today for this week if that makes sense are you with me anyway let's catch up next week and talk about 
all things hair smoothing. How's that sound? That sounds good. Anyway, I will, for me, talk to you in like two seconds. But for you, I shall speak to you next week. Bye!